lovelies, in my last clothing haul from Urban Outfitters, I asked you guys if you would like to also see an Urban Outfitters beauty haul and lots of you guys said yes, so that is what I'm doing today. I went to the Urban Outfitters beauty launch party for bloggers at the Whitefield City Westfield Centre. That was a mouthful. I know that you can definitely go to that Westfield Centre for the beauty stuff. I'm not too sure about any other Urban Outfitters, but you can get it all online, so I will link everything that I mention in the down bar. There are so many brands in here that I've never heard of before, and I've stopped myself from going through everything. I have used a couple of bits, but I've been very good and had the willpower not to rummage through it all. So let's start with this. This is from Grow Gorgeous. This is a cleansing conditioner. It comes in this adorable box. I love so much of the packaging from all these brands. On the back it just says it's 11 in 1 multitasking system combines foamless cleansing and deep conditioning in one step to rebalance the scalp. Because my hair's so thick it takes so long to rinse and the fact that I can use this once and only have to rinse once and not have to rinse twice is just so nice. From the two times that I've used it it's left my hair feeling so clean, my scalp feeling so nice and my hair smells really good, it feels really soft and it looks really shiny. All in all, I'm really impressed with this product. Next is this cheeky, bright as a button, dry body buff. Use on dry skin before washing, then shower, bathe before joyfully admiring your silky soft skin. Ooh, this kind of looks like a bright green version of the Rub 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 Sea Salt Scrub from Lush. Really fresh smell. I have high expectations for this. This sounds and smells really good. Next is a Antipod. Oh, I was looking at these guys actually. Oh, you Yes! <laughs> Got really excited there. I've been looking for a face mask and this is a face mask. Manuka Honey Mask with Vanilla Pod, something I can't pronounce, Bloom. Cleanse deeply your skin and your spirit with this luxurious face mask that leaves skin smooth and intensively hydrated. Suited to most skin conditions, especially blemish prone and dehydrated skin. Oh, I've been breaking out all over my forehead recently and I have dry skin so this sounds perfect. Ooh! This is such a satisfying tube. Oh, I love things that come in tubes like this. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna open it. It's quite thin. It smells blimmin' amazing though. Next is a nail polish. I actually got this with my clothing bits, but I thought I might as well mention it in this because it's a beauty haul and all that jazz. It's in the colour fizzy, just in this wicked bright pink colour, perfect for the summer. So I've got a little sample here of an eye gel. I'll find the full version of this. Maybe this is a full version. I don't know. This is also from the same brand and this is Skin Brightening Cream. Oh okay, this is a pore strip and as you can see I've already opened it but I kept the packet. And this is from a brand called Formula. Like I said, I've never heard of these brands before. I've been wanting to use pore strips for ages because it was only the last couple of years I've suffered from blackheads. I've been wanting to try pore strips for ages, hence why I couldn't wait to film this video so I used it already. So these have tea tree in, they're meant to be deep cleansing, it helps to get rid of blackheads and declog pores and dirt and get rid of sort of makeup build up. I have to say when I peeled it off I could see lots of little blackheads. Well I think they're blackheads or maybe it was just dirt from my pores because I still had a ton of blackheads visible on my nose but I think it's something you have to use regularly over time. This is a deep down detox ultra cleansing mud mask. Yes I got another mask! <laughs> so this is again the same brand that did the pores strips, orange and bergamot, are all lovely. This helps to cleanse impurities for clearer, brighter complexion. I've got some all-purpose skin cream Egyptian magic. So I guess you just rub it on any skin that just needs a bit of TLC. This is a lip balm and this is by Skin and Tonic London. It's organic, it's sustainable and it's British. It comes in a very interesting shape. It doesn't smell of anything. Feels really nice though. So this is Kiss and Tell Posy Rosy Lip and Cheek Tint. Ooh, it's very bright. It's quite nice though. I think that would be quite good if you're sort of around the pool on holiday or by the beach and you don't have any makeup on but you just want a little bit of rosiness in your cheeks. I don't know if you can see that but now I'm covered in it. This I'm very intrigued about. This is a 18 in 1 hemp almond soap made with organic oils. So here it gives you a few ways that you can use this. Face and body wash, get wet, apply soap to hands, washcloth or loofah. You can use it as a fruit and veg wash. I can use it as a household cleaner. This seems like a really cool product. I've never ever heard of anything like this before. That smells so nice. It smells like Battenberg cake. If you like Marzipan then you'll like the smell of this. So the last few things 
I have this lip coat and I've had this before and never used it. Basically put it on over your lipstick and it is meant to help it stop your lipstick from smudging, feathering or bleeding out, you know, and it kind of like goes into your foundation, it doesn't look good. It's meant to be kiss proof and stops it from fading. So this seems like a nifty product to use and I've heard lots of good things about this so I'm looking forward to trying this out. Next thing is by Bubble Tea Bath and Body and this is Moroccan Mint Tea Reviving Hand Cream. I love anything minty. You know sometimes in the summer when you want to put hand cream on but you're too hot and bothered you don't want cream on your hands. I reckon this would be quite nice in the summer because it's quite light but it's also really refreshing and tingly. I have another multi-purpose soothing balm. This is by Dr. Pawpaw. I think Oh my word, the writing's small. It's meant to be good for dry skin, irritated skin, and it's meant to moisturise nails, lips, cuticles, and dry cracked skin, such as hands, elbows, and heels. Then I've got this handy squeezed lemon antibacterial sanitising gel thingy majiggy which is cool because I've lost mine. I always like to have some hand sanitizer gel on me, especially when I'm in London. It does smell like lemons but it also smells very alcoholic. I can imagine you wouldn't want to put this on your hands if you had any cuts. Never Lose Your Cherry SPF 15 Lip Balm. It comes in this little tube. It's kind of clear with a little bit of colour to it. It's got a bit of a tint. Oh, it smells like cherry. And the last one is this, and I have been using this. This is by Fountain. They were doing shots of this at the event, and it was this shot of this green goop, and I was just like, ooh. But I manned up and I had a shot, and it tastes so good. This is this super green molecule. And it's a food supplement. You're meant to have one teaspoon of this daily. And it has alfalfa, chlorophyll and kelp. I don't know if I said that right. It's meant to have a really high concentration of very good stuff for you. Um, things that I can't pronounce. They have five different ones of these. There's the beauty molecule, the hair molecule, the super green molecule, which I have here, the geek molecule and the energy molecule. These are anything between 24 to 35 pounds. This one is 28. There's one here with B12 in it. So it's meant to be really good for energy. And because I'm a pescatarian, the only thing that I eat that really has B12 in is eggs. So it would be quite interesting to try the, um, these two here after I finish this one. So it looks like this. I know it kind of looks like something you'd see in an old fashioned science lab. It's flavoured with kiwi, so it does actually taste really good. I either have it on its own or I have a teaspoon of this in my green smoothie that I like to make at the moment. If you want to know the recipe, I did mention it in a vlog. So I'll link the vlog in the down bar and I sort of mention what I add in it. I have noticed that my energy has been a bit better but then I have also been having maca powder recently which again is meant to help with energy so it could be either or or both. I do recommend this and I do think they are worth the money. So that's everything. Like I said I'll link everything in the down bar. I'm gonna go and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.